Victorian football uh, meant a hell of a lot to him. Uh, it was his uh, passion after club football, but uh, he loved to be able to pit himself against the best and prove himself against the best. And uh, interstate football, uh, representing Victoria, there was no, no better way of doing that for Dad. You know, he just uh, loved playing for Victoria. Um, he grew another couple of inches when he put the big V on. And that passion went on to, uh, for him to become uh, Chairman of Selectors of Victoria which I think lasted for uh, 10 or 12 years, I'm not sure, but uh, he loved it and, uh, and I think all the involvement was great for him and uh, to be involved with the players coming through after you know, he'd been involved was just terrific for the players. They loved mixing it with Dad. He genuinely loved state footy and a bit of state footy died with Ted, you know. He, um, he took it right in, I mean, I think he played 29 state games or something. It's, it's unfathomable in this day and age, you know. Uh, right up until you know the uh, the end of state of origin but yeah he, he lived and breathed it he loved it he was a showman and uh, the further it went on the older he got the more showman was coming out of him you know um, at the same time there was a deep passion for what the cause was playing for victoria and victoria winning that's what it was all about but yes definitely there was a showman in him and uh, you know the ability to be able to stir up a crowd and uh, a few years ago we, we drew, I think, uh, 90,000 of the MCG to watch Victoria win and uh, that was mainly due to Dad and uh, his, his efforts to be able to draw the crowd there.